tiny invasive species has built up a big presence in an e-space stream. Yes, as KPX 5's John Ramos explains, it could cause a lot of trouble if it starts spreading to other waterways. The water in this creek comes from runoff from Mount Diablo, which means what's growing here has only gotten here because of man. When UC Berkeley biology researcher Emily King clambers down the steep bank of Mount Diablo Creek in Clayton, she already knows what she's going to find. And they're not hard to spot. The tiny black dots you see on rocks and leaves and sticks are actually an invasive creature called the New Zealand mud snail. These get introduced to new places and they sort of take over. The mud snail is literally a freak of nature. With three sets of chromosomes instead of two, it has the ability to clone itself, meaning it would take only one snail to infect this entire stream. At times, Emily has counted up to 90,000 of the snails per square meter. And they're tough. They have a tiny trap door that can close up the shell like a little suit of armor. So if they get eaten, they seal up and they hold on and they essentially wait for that fish to pass them later. They're harmful because they eat algae, a lot of it, crowding out other creatures and small fish by gobbling up the food supply they need to survive. In places in Wyoming, they take their 97% of animals alive in the stream is this one type of snail. It's not that bad here in Diablo Creek, so the researcher is studying to see if there is some natural mechanism keeping them in check. The danger would be if they got transferred into the delta, because they've been shown they can live in slightly salty water. Um, and they're so small, this is how people miss them. So they can survive on your shoelaces if you're wearing, you know, hiking boots yeah, with laces. That's why wildlife officials are pleading with the public to carefully clean off and allow to dry for 48 hours any boots or fishing gear before transferring from one stream to another. You never know how they'll hitch a ride to their next home, and there's no practical way to get rid of them once they're there. In fact, the only way to really rid this stream of the snails would be if another prolonged drought dried up the creek bed completely. But nobody's hoping for that. In Clayton, John Ramos, KPIX5. Well, the snails are not a threat in New Zealand because tiny parasites keep their numbers down. But here, they have no natural enemies and can thrive wherever they go.